Welcome to Car2. The new Citroen C3 Aircross is a funky French family SUV that makes more conservatively styled alternatives such as the Volkswagen T-Cross or Skoda Cummick look about as interesting as plain porridge. Not that there's anything wrong with plain porridge, of course. It's just that it's a bit, well, predictable. Anyway, this facelifted Citroen SUV will definitely be much trickier to lose in a busy car park, even if it's a bit less cutesy looking than before. The old car's slightly goofy square headlamps have been replaced with a far slimmer setup, while a bigger front grille helps to make the C3 Aircross look ever so slightly meaner than it used to. That quirky style appeal is bolstered by a range of choice 16 and 17 inch alloy wheels, and a handful of colorful exterior customization packs. Its boxy shape and chunky black bumper cladding give it a bit of additional SUV credibility too. That said, with no four-wheel drive model available, accidentally mounting a tall curb while parking will probably be the closest you'll come to doing any off-roading. There are quite a lot of hard, scratchy plastics in the cabin, but generally the C3 Aircross is pretty stylish on the inside. Our range-topping Shine Plus test car had some attractive fabric trim finishers on the doors and dashboard, and the leatherette and fabric upholstered seats look the part and are super comfy over distance. The extra power of the 130 horsepower petrol engine might be tempting, but in reality the 110 horsepower is more than up for the task. It'll be cheaper to run, too. You may not be quite so happy if you find yourself sat in the second row, though. Kids will fit back there just fine, but even with the sliding rear bench pushed all the way back there isn't a huge amount of legroom for taller adults. And if you want any headroom at all, then avoid the optional panoramic sunroof like the Play. The likes of the Skoda Cummick and Volkswagen T-Cross do better in this department. That said, boot space is very good, and the seats all offer a wide range of configurability to help you free up room for really big, bulky items. The same goes for standard equipment. Entry-level C-Series cars get LED headlights, automatic air conditioning, 16-inch alloy wheels, rear parking sensors, and a 7-inch touchscreen that's loaded up with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Higher spec models get a larger 9-inch screen with built-in navigation, too, but it's not the sharpest or most responsive infotainment setup in the world. We'd probably just use the smartphone mirroring systems instead of the factory Citroen 1. With two petrols and one diesel to choose from, engine options are pretty limited, but at least that helps to keep things straightforward. We'd go for the entry-level 110 horsepower petrol with the six-speed manual gearbox as our pick of the range. It's punchy enough for easy driving around town and quiet out on the motorway. We easily averaged 47 mpg during our time with it, so it shouldn't be too expensive to run either. Elsewhere, a softer suspension setup helps to keep things comfy on all but the bumpiest roads, and a light but accurate steering setup makes the C3 Aircross a very easy car to thread down tight roads and lanes. It doesn't feel like a naturally athletic car though, so if it's driving fun on a twisty road you're after you'll be better served by a Ford Puma. But still, it's hard not to like the C3 Aircross for its quirky charm. Not only is it funky to look at, it's a comfortable, refined car that comes with a big boot and is very easy to drive. 